Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to understand and discuss about two things. First of all, why the sum of co-interior angles is 180 degree. Second thing, that why the sum of co-exterior angle is 180 degree. So let's take a glance on what are co-interior angles. So, so these are two parallel lines and this is a transversal. So this angle and this angle are co-interior angles. Co interior angles okay so the angles which are on the same side interior sorry which are on the same side inside the parallel lines or interior of the parallel lines are known as co-interior angles i think that you understand what are co-interior angles okay Now, now we will prove that why the sum of co-interior angles is 180 degree. Again that diagram, parallel lines, a transversal. Now these are, these, this two angle are, sorry, these two angles are what? Co-interior angles. Let's name these angles as angle 1 and angle 2. So, what we have to prove is that why the sum of co-interior angle is 180 degree. So, these are co-interior angles and why their sum is 180 degree. So, we will write here to prove that angle 1 plus, sorry, to prove angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree we have to prove this okay let's do the proof p r double o f okay proof okay now this angle i have made a new angle here let's name this angle as angle 3 okay so as you can see here as we already know that angle 1 is equal to angle 3. How? So angle 1 and angle 3 are equal due to corresponding angles because they are corresponding angles and already we know that corresponding angles are equal in their measure. So angle 1 is equal to angle 3 because they are corresponding angles okay now now as we can see here angle 3 and angle 2 are forming linear pair means linear linear pair means yes means the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degree so as we can see here this diagram like this yes this is angle 3 sorry this is angle 3 and this is 1 so these so angle sorry this is 2 so angle 2 and angle 3 are forming a linear pair means angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree 180 degree by linear pair okay now we have to find out angle 3 that the measure of angle 3 so angle 3 is equal to 180 degree minus angle 2 so we have to put 
वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल थ्री दिस इज एंगल थ्री पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल थ्री इन इक्वेशन वन ओके सो दिस इज आर इक्वेशन वन सो एज वी सो एज वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एट्टी डिग्री माइनस एंगल टू लेट्स सॉल्व इट हेयर सो एंगल वन यस एंगल वन इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज एंगल थ्री वन एटी डिग्री माइनस एंगल टू वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री माइनस एंगल टू सो एंगल वन प्लस एंगल टू इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री एंड वी हैव प्रूफ दैट एंगल वन प्लस एंगल टू इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्री हैंस प्रूफ हैंस proved p r o v e d yes we have proved that angle 1 this angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree and we have proved that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree i think this is clear to you all that how i have proved that angle 1 Plus angle two is one hundred and eighty degree. Okay, so now we are going to discuss that why the sum of co-exterior angles is one hundred eighty degree. Now let's take a glance on what are co-exterior angles. Two parallel lines, a transversal. So the angles which are on same side. Outside the parallel lines means uh, on the exterior. In the exterior of the parallel lines is known as co-exterior angles. Okay, so these two angles are co-exterior angles. Okay, now now we have to prove that why the sum of Co exterior angles is one hundred and eighty degree. Okay, so let's make the diagram again. Two parallel lines, a transversal. Now, for let's name these angles as one and two. So these are these two angles are co exterior angles. Now. What we have to prove? Let's me let me write here. To prove what we have to prove that ang no, that angle one plus angle two is equal to one hundred and eighty degree. Angle angle sorry angle one plus angle two is equal to one hundred. Wait a minute. Yes. That angle one plus angle two is equal to one hundred eighty degree. We have to prove this. Okay. Proof. <clears throat> so, uh, I have made angles here. Let's name this angle as angle three. As we know that angle one is equal to angle three. How? This is due to uh, this is because uh, angle one and angle three are corresponding angles. Let me write here. Angle one is equal to angle three. Why? Because they are corresponding angles. Okay. Yes. Now, as we can see here, that angle two and angle three are forming a linear pair. 
we know linear pair is like this means the ang the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degree but here it is shown like this this is angle 2 this is 3 so the sum of angle 2 and angle 3 will be 180 degree okay so angle 2 plus angle 3 angle 3 is equal to 180 degree by linear pair okay now we have to find out the value of angle 3 so angle 3 is equal to 180 degree minus angle 2 so this is the value this is the value of angle 3 now we have to put value of angle 3 in equation 1 so uh, so this is the equation 1 that angle 1 is equal to angle 3 now let's do it here okay so so now the value of angle 3 is 180 degree minus angle 2 so angle 1 is equal to 180 degree minus angle 2 because we have to put only the value of angle 3 in the equation 1 so value of angle 3 is this now angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree so uh, what we have to prove we have to prove that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree and we have proved that hence proved that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree the sum of angle 1 and angle 2 is 180 degree so we have proved that the sum of co-exterior angles is 180 degree so i think that you all understood that why the sum of co-exterior angles is 180 degree and why the sum of co-interior angles is 180 degree we will meet in our next video till then goodbye thank you take care